the city of Port Harcourt in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria witnessed a double header on March the 27th of the Nigerian Professional Football League. First, at the Yakubu Gowon Stadium, was arguably the match of the weekend as champions in Yimba International took on former champions, Kano Pillars. Despite playing on neutral grounds due to renovation works at their stadium in Aba, the People's Elephants were looking to achieve a first ever double against their rivals from the north. Let's see the highlights from this mouthwatering fixture from Port Harcourt. Aimba still ball, still locking there, and Aimba struggling to get something on Sadia. He hits that one, but um, not going the right way again. But it was ahead of the Caterpillars, a player that took it into corner. So it's Aimba having all the attacking forays up front. They've had uh, one or two opportunities also that was not taken. Corner comes, header takes it away for Caterpillars. Oh, not completely out of danger. A chance coming for Ayimba. It's the first goal of the afternoon. What poor defending coming from Caterpillars. The ball was all over. And it is a great goal. And Kelly Kester. Surely was a defender that hit that ball in for the first goal. And it is a Nemina Ifai coming all the way from the back to hit the ball for the first goal. Ayimba fans will celebrate that goal. Surely, great goal it was. Well, that was a very, very poor head on that occasion. If I it was who headed the ball. And luckily, the ball fell back to him this time. He hit a left foot belter that fell it way onto the net. But that was a very, very poor header from nobody other else than Jamiu Alimi. Jamiu has really been in on form of late, but on that occasion, so of letting his sleep. Left header saw the ball go and come back to find a name in this time around, a low left belter it was. And a chance for equalizer. It's 1 1. And it's Adamu that has a score here for Cano Pillars. That is the way to respond when you go behind. And Tijani Adamu wasted no time at all to put Cano Pillars back on level terms. And what a match we have in our hands here. Adamu Mohamed is a scorer. Well, it is often said that you are most vulnerable when you've just scored. That exactly is what just happened here today. That's why the very strong run for Chima Akaz. He couldn't stop Adamu Mohamed, who made sure he got in front of him and placed a low one. That's why Moses Uchejes died. He couldn't get to it as Adamu goes down to give thanks to the heavenlies. But then, you need really have to concentrate as soon as you put the ball behind your opponent. On this occasion, Neymar chose to go to sleep for a few seconds and they got punished for it. Two defensive uh, blunders have given the two teams uh, one goal apiece. Neymar uh, one, Canopilas one. Now Neymar cutting in. Now this is a penalty. Short call. Referee making delayed any second to call the penalty. So Ayimba with uh, the golden opportunity to go back into the lead. It's a penalty for them. Now, yellow card. Yellow card are going out to confirm with a gun for Canopilas and Suleiman Usman. There's the one. That has been yellow carded. That's the man whose uh, poor tackle has cost them the penalty. Well, perhaps a rush of blood. He's already been beaten to that ball by the very person. Chukude. No, he didn't do that. He should have allowed Chukude to go because he's already been beaten. But instead. He infringed upon him and Usman for that. This man was not only yellow carded, but was considered a penalty. And so the penalty, this man will have to do a good job to stop the penalty. Ateyimba's opportunity to go back into the lead. He 
it's here. Wondering who's going to take a penalty. Yes, Uche John is the one positioned to take a penalty. Scored the first, uh, scored on the season. Uche John makes it a great goal. Aimba says second. Aimba go back into the lead. Uche John, the former Quara United defender, has uh, put Aimba back in the lead. Incidentally, it is the defenders doing it for Aimba all season. And Aimba has scored the first, and now their second has been tucked in from the penalty spot by Uche John. Well, an element of luck there. He chose a far angle. It went a little bit too far. Hit the side post and went in to the despair of David Obiazo in goal. But since the strikers simply forgot they are scoring boots at home, the defenders decided to take it upon them and they've not bumped down badly here. First, if I had name another score the boss, this time, which a John it was that scored the score. Well, the title encounter went the way of the men in blue and did a world of good to their quest of retaining the title while simultaneously putting a big dent in Pilar's title challenge. 